Babies brought something that thousands of people had wanted for years. But as Jim Henderson tells us, it didn't come easy. This was a topsy-turvy decade for Louisiana sports. The Aints became the Saints again and almost the Saint Elsewheres. LSU featured basketball power rather than football power, and Tulane learned the thrill of victory and the agony of the courtroom. It was a return to football as usual as we kicked off the decade of the 80s. Saints fans found a new way to express their displeasure. After two promising seasons, the Saints went 1-15, and, and Dick Nolan went out the door. In came Bum Phillips, the Saints' eighth head coach. The biggest problem the city's had is, is, is winning football games. And the greatest thing about that is the fact that I say city because everyone's identified with it. It's nice to be a part of something, but it's better to even feel a part of it. And this man has brought that feeling back for us. Bum brought in Heisman hero George Rogers in 81, traded away local hero Archie Manning in 82, and would have become a hero in 83 for taking the Saints to their first playoff game, but that chance ended on the toe of Rams kicker Mike Lansford. Fortunately, seconds remain. This is it. The snap is high. The snap, the kick is up. It's long. It is, it is good. They're mobbing Lansford. The Saints are down. When the team didn't improve in 1984, John Meekham decided it was time to sell. For a while, it looked like New Orleans was going to lose its only pro sport. Phoenix and Jacksonville both wanted the team, but it was a local boy who stepped in to save the day. Tom Benson bought the team for a cool $75 million and got a little help from the state to keep them in the Superdome. You know, there's a difference between wanting to win and having to win. In our case, we have to win. We're going to try to reward you this year a whole lot better than you've been rewarded before. Benson was waking to win in New Orleans, but a 5-11 season in 1985 probably made him think that Bum wasn't. Benson hired widely respected football man Jim Finks to run the club. They then picked a coach with a good track record from the United States Football League, Jim Mora. And uh, I'm just glad I'm, it's no longer a rumor that I am a head coach in, in, in the National Football League and even more glad that it's with the New Orleans Saints. After a respectable shakedown season in 1986, Mora brought the fans what they had only dreamed of for 22 years, a winning season and a trip to the playoffs. We're St. Benson. We're in heaven. We've been St. Benson 67. We believe in you. <laughs> I believe. Unfortunately, getting to the playoffs was more fun than being there. And it's a touchdown. The Saints had another winning season in 1988. Their 10-6 record was one victory shy of winning the division. Gun at the 41. Retreating to the 45, stepping it, lofting it downfield. He's got Perriman, 10, 5, touchdown, Saints. 1989 was a little rougher, but they still had a playoff shot until... It's over. The Rams win. This season is over for the Saints. They won't be in the Super Bowl in the Superdome next month. But at least now, when people say, wait till next year, they believe it. No 
one knows what next year will bring in Tigerland. After 18 years of stability with Charlie Mack McClendon, the Tigers had a rocky 80s. The decade started with a tragedy. The Tigers' new head coach, Bo Ryan, was killed in a plane crash just a month after he was hired. Former Tiger Jerry Stovall came in to coach four up-and-down seasons before Bill Arnsbarger was brought in from the pro ranks. He coached three winning seasons, including an SEC championship team in 1986. But the Tigers didn't crack the top ten rankings until 1987, when Mike Archer led the Bengals to their best season since 1961. They were expected to do that again this year. Instead, they just missed having their worst season ever. Ain't much you could say. It basically is an old-fashioned butt whipping. The 80s were better for the Tiger round ballers, who have enjoyed stability at the coach's position. Dale Brown's in his second decade with the Tigers. Brown's teams went to nine straight postseason playoffs, making it all the way to the Final Four in 1981. They lost a heartbreaker to Indiana. Another miss. No one even trying to stop it. Four, five times. Backlund gets it back. Six. Eight. Indiana. And Bobby Knight goes to the championship. They end the decade with hope of starting a new dynasty, led by standout guard Chris Jackson. The 80s started out as a great decade for two-lane basketball. Coach Ned Fowler put together four winning seasons. But in 1985, the lights went out in the two-lane gym. I shall recommend to the Board of Administrators and the University Senate that Tulane University immediately terminate its participation in men's intercollegiate basketball. Fowler's players next appeared before the glare of camera lights at district court to answer allegations of point shaving. As a result of the scandal, Ned Fowler resigned. Tulane dropped basketball, and four students and a bookie pled guilty to sports bribery charges. Star player John Williams was also indicted, but was acquitted after a lengthy court battle. The scars are healed now, and Tulane returned to the hardwoods this year under new coach Perry Clark. Coaches were plentiful on the two-lane football field. There were four this decade, but only one enjoyed winning seasons. Vince Gibson did it in the first two years of the 80s. He'll probably be remembered most for beating LSU twice, including embarrassing the Tigers with a 48-7 drubbing, one of their worst ever at the hands of a greeny team. This was probably the best decade for college baseball. Tulane, LSU, and UNO all found themselves at the College World Series playoffs during the 80s. The second decade of UNO's basketball program had an impressive six winning seasons and four trips to major postseason playoffs. New Orleans saw major developments in three other sports. First is the Crescent City Classic, which over the decade has become one of the country's premier 10K running events. Next is the success of the U.S. F&G Golf Tournament. And finally, there's the local colt made good, Risen Star, winner of the Preakness and Belmont Stakes. Risen Star going off. He's in front by 15, by 18. Risen Star takes the Belmont. This is a natural time to make predictions about the next 10 years. Well, I predict that the Saints will be in the Super Bowl in the next decade. Also, that New Orleans will have pro baseball and pro basketball teams before the end of the 1990s. Of course, I've been wrong before. I don't ever remember Jim Henderson being wrong, but then again, forgot what I was going to say. But I remember him being wrong a lot. Next, we go from the past to the present.
It's a gentler art. Conversation. And the art of conversing is often done in the living room. You see, you need comfortable furniture for the correct art of conversation. It doesn't have to be expensive furniture, just comfortable furniture. At Lou Rippner's, we've been providing the fine people of New Orleans with exactly that. Comfortable furniture for the art of conversing. Visit Lou Rippner's Compass Furniture and see the future of home furnishings today. Welcome home. It's a celebration of savings at Macy's New Year's Sale. Savings for her, for him, and Macy Kids. Plus, great values throughout the store. Start your new year off right with 20 to 50% savings for you, your home, and family. Macy's New Year's Sale is going on now. Macy's, we're a part of your life. Watch Rainforest Connections. to the end of our trip through the 80s, without a doubt, one of the most interesting and eventful decades in New Orleans history. Any predictions for the 90s? You know I'm going to predict that the Saints are going to go to the Super Bowl and they're going to win. Mm -hmm. Nothing changes. But I also think that all those people who came out to try to help individually and collectively our economic problems are now going to come together and try to solve some of our social problems. And I find that the best news of the 90s. We better hope they do, just like we better hope they become more aware of the environment. And unlike my predictions of the 70s and the 80s, I think that is happening yes. and will happen more in the next decade. Also, we will soon find out what the 90s are like. It's getting close to that hour. That's right. We're going to leave this old decade. We're going to join Judy and Frank to bring in the new decade. Thank you, Angela and Garland, and Happy New Year to both of you. Happy New Year. I like the Saints prediction. Let us tell you right off the bat, it is cold, cold, cold. Cold for 1990, the beginning anyway. What? <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't believe but, me when I said bring your muck locks, huh? We have to say, just a few moments ago, we looked down in the street and we thought, mm, this isn't the same as last year. There were hundreds more. This street, in the last half hour, packed itself with people it does not the temperature does not matter there are hundreds of people on decatur street and here at jack's brewery and we have about less than seven minutes to go before the new year countdown the new year a brand new decade you, right. you know it, it's always special when you go through a decade it, and look at the people behind us this, these folks were quiet just a minute ago you can hear the people behind us let's take a commercial break we'll be we'll right be back. back we gotta get antifreeze you didn't bring my overcoat <laughs> and my mucklucks i wanted to Getting a date is as easy as calling 976-DATE, day or night. New Orleans Electronic Meeting Place is the best alternative to singles bars. Calls are just $3, 976-DATE. I've stolen from a friend. I just can't keep it inside any longer. If you have something you need to get off your chest or just want to hear the confessions of others, call 976-8255, the confessional helpline. Only $3 per call and your confidentiality is guaranteed. My boss is mad at me. My boyfriend doesn't call me. I just got noticed my rent is being raised. I was so confused, I just didn't know where to turn. So I called 976 Seek to ask the advice of the tarot. A series of 78 picture cards the ancient Egyptians used to tell the future. Well, I don't believe in psychics, but the reader at 976 Seek was so sexy, I enjoyed listening to him. The reader at 976 Seek said, I would have new employment opportunities, and I did. He said, I would have new exciting romance, and I did. I did have to pay my rent increase, <laughs> but I think 976 Seek guided me to look for new opportunities. Hey, why don't you call 976 Seek and see what the cards hold for you? Just $2 plus toll. Call. The <laughs> I just want to let you all know that, and you too, Frank, you look quite dapper, but you will not get to see my $350,000 dress tonight because I've got to keep this coat. 
Well, oh. I tell you what, if I had a $350 dress, I'd put it over this rented tux. You know what I'm telling you? You know who's on the street down? Frank Turner. Frank Turner's down there, and he's got all these people hugging. Folks, you won't believe it. He's got all these people huddling around him. Frank. He doesn't need a coach. Frank, I bet you you're warm as a bug in a rug. Hey, let me tell you, we got a whole lot of body heat down here, you know? We used to have controlled chaos, but now we have lost all control as people from all over the country have joined us. A cast of thousands down here on Decatur Street ready to ring in the new year. And we can only hope that the rest of the country is having this much fun. New Year's in New Orleans. They just seem to go together. After thousands of people realize there's no better place they could be, they wind up here. And it sounds like they're having a good time. A little drinking, a little cheering, and a little drinking. It's a good thing a lot of these people are on foot. But no matter where they're from, they all seem to be having the same agenda. Well, we've been to eat, and we walked straight up and down, been in a couple of places, bought a few T-shirts, thanks. Yeah, you look pretty happy. I feel great. I'm from Birmingham. And what's the, what's the best thing about being here for New Year's? Oh, it's all been great. It's all been great. What, what, what y'all been up to tonight? What have you been doing? Well, we went out to eat. We're having a few drinks, going to do some celebrating. Yeah? Waiting, bringing in the New Year, man. <laughs> going to have fun. It, what have y'all been up to tonight? Hitting some of the bars, hit the hurricane bar over there, a little shopping, souvenirs, you know. Yeah, hitting some of the, not too many though, just a couple of the bars, right? Uh, a couple, a couple. I, I still have to walk straight. When the ball drops on an infant 1990, this truly is the place to be. <laughs> and it certainly is the place to be. As you can see, the crowd is getting ready for the ball to drop, which is going to happen in just a few minutes. And Frank and Judy, when it does, will be right here with you to bring in the new decade. Back to you. Oh, the decades are going to be beautiful, too, Frank. I hope it's as nice for you as we're planning it to be. Mayor Sidney Bartholomew is talking behind us right now, and the fireworks have already started. They're talking about New Orleans as the greatest city in America, and hopefully we will see that in the 1990s. All we got to do, Judy, is keep New Orleans what it's always been. New Orleans is a frame of mind. I've got to ask you about resolutions. Resolutions. Okay, I made two resolutions. One, I'm going to try to spend more time at home. I tried that last year, but they may become the work like anyway, okay? Um, and and if, uh, the other resolution is right after the first of the year, I'm going to get rid of about 100 pounds. Not going to lose any weight. I just got an old sack of mortar in the backyard. I'm going to throw it out for the trash man. We got. We have two minutes. Look at it. A minute 56 seconds. Do we have time to talk to Tom Foreman? He is at the Clue Cape. Oh, we got to talk to him. I want to know what's going on with Tom. We are, the people we are standing by right over here right Tom, now. Tom, talk to us, baby. It's hard to hear you right now, but boy, there is a party going on here at the Clue Caper right now. I met a bunch of friends here real quick. Folks who are getting all set to celebrate the big moment when it arrives here in just a few moments. Several thousand people here for the Clue Caper. They've been having a great time. We're going to be here when the ball drops. That's when the balloons are going to drop up above here. And we'll be celebrating and bringing in the New Year. So we'll be checking in with you when the ball drops and the balloons start falling down here at the New Orleans Center. Back to you, Frank and Judy. Well, funny Thank you. The time rose to close. You can't hear anymore? I can't hear. You know, folks, Judy and I are talking to each other, and it sounds like this. We're not making any. What? 58 seconds, Judy. Are you ready for a brand new decade? I am ready for this brand new decade. Did you have a good 80s, though? I had a wonderful 80. But guess what? You talk about a blowout. Wait till we get to the year 2000, oh, huh? Can we get through the 90s first? All right. I'll go along with the 90s. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. I want y'all to count it along with us at home, all right? They're going to count, too. It's deafening up here. It's New, Orleans, New Orleans has always been a party town. And if you ever doubt that, folks, please come to New Orleans wherever you are on New Year's Eve. 20 seconds. And whatever you've got in your hand right now, whether it be water, champagne, milk, or chocolate milk, Green juice, let's count whatever. down and toast to 1990. Eight, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
fireworks that you're seeing behind us is all part of a choreography that's done by a New Orleans man. That's David Spears. He's a registered pyrotechnician. And I understand that it is supposed to be, and it is proving itself to be already the most spectacular fireworks show ever in the Ever, ever. It even surpasses the World's Fair, Judy. That's the William Tell Overture you're listening to. And incidentally, these fireworks are out on a barge in the Mississippi River. I talked to David a little bit earlier, and he said we had to calculate the velocity of the wind, so he moved it a little bit closer to this bank of the river. It's beautiful, beautiful. I can't believe it could be that scientific and that beautiful at the same time. You remember two years ago, it was so foggy we couldn't even see anything but color. It looked like a giant, uh, looked like a child had spilled paint. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. Well, happy 1990. Happy 1990. Happy New Year, Judy. Happy New happy Year, everybody. Spring. While y'all are watching the fireworks, we have to tell you that since about uh, 7.30 tonight, we've been here at the brewery, and we couldn't get a single soul to come out here. It was so cold. I think there are just about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who have forgotten about the temperature. Oh, yeah. But look at them now, Judy. They're all out here. They're all out on the balcony. This would be a perfect time to go to the, the men's room with a woman will get it. Nobody's in there. come from you know the boats are in the river they're anchored or drifting they got the Natchez and the uh, and the Bayou uh, the, the, the Cajun Queen you know, thousands of people on the on the, the ground level hundreds of people on the boats the you know what I'm Jackson thinking? Square is loaded right and I think the changing of a decade people are anxious to be optimistic and they are optimistic we've had we've had a lot of sadness but we've had happiness but we want so much more happiness in the years to come I think people they do. Oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty. What a way to enter a brand new decade. Fabulous. Oh. Fabulous. And did you know that Frank Davis was humming the William Tell Overture? I was. Uh, in in three-part harmony, too. <laughs> three-part harmony. Look, I, now, wait a minute. He's trying to tell us something. What is that? That means that means we time for another drink or what? Are we gonna sing? Oh, it says go to a spot. We'll be right back, y'all. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Getting a date is as easy as calling 976-DATE, day or night. New Orleans Electronic Meeting Place is the best alternative to singles bars. Calls are just $3, 976-DATE. I've stolen from a friend. I just can't keep it inside any longer. If you have something you need to get off your chest or just want to hear the confessions of others, call 976-8255, the confessional helpline. Only $3 per call and your confidentiality is guaranteed. It's a celebration of savings at Macy's New Year's Sale. Savings for her, for him, and Macy Kids. Plus, great values throughout the store. Start your new year off right with 20 to 50% savings for you, your home, and family. Macy's New Year's Sale is going on now. Macy's, we're a part of your life. The last few hours of 89 will end with a blowout during Michael A. Bear's 48 hour end at the Decade Sale. This beautiful wall unit is made of acrylic lacquer in black or almond, especially priced at $19.90 a month. Make the move comfortably into the 90s with this five piece sectional, two incliners, sleeper, offer $19.90 a month. Say goodbye to 89 and hello to low prices in the 90s during this 48 hour end of the Decade blowout. At Michael A. Bear, where we save you money. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. And 
Cuba. Norman Robinson reports. We're going line one. President Bush has said he believes it. The value of an education. It took me from rural Mississippi all the way to the network news. If you're a graduating senior, your words could win you a $10,000 college scholarship. Ask your English teacher how you can share the dream. A joint community project from Coca-Cola and Channel 4. technician that does the, uh, the, the spectacular. How do you do fireworks like this, David? You set up a day in advance in case it rains like it did all day today. So we set up yesterday, covered it all up with bisqueen, a lot of shells, good budget. It's a fun show. It's oh, a nice one. Science. You have science. It's all done with computers. We're pushing buttons the whole time. The computer's running, the music's running, and it's all time well. A lot of advanced design and planning. Congratulations, baby. It's beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I hope you've seen it, uh, Tom, where you are. What's going on on your end, babe? Happy New Year. Thanks, Frank and Judy. Well, as you can see, everybody's retired to the dance floor now, where they've been going wild and having a great time. They left me up here all alone, so I'm going to have to go down and dance with them in just a little while. We've had a great time here all evening long with the clue caper and with the treasure hunt that went on earlier. We're going to roll a little bit of tape to show you what it's been like here all evening long. Now remember, all of this was to benefit multiple sclerosis. So this is the way it looked earlier this evening as thousands of people gathered here. This is the second year in a row that they've held the clue caper on New Year's Eve. And there's no question, it's a resounding success. These were the people earlier this evening alone before everything really started getting out of hand. We had the clue caper where we're acting out a bit of a murder mystery. And look, here, here I am on stage, the, the man himself. We're doing the, uh, I was the victim actually this year in the clue caper. Janet Lawhon, another one of the people from our staff who joined in, along with Janet Gross in acting out the murder mystery, which people then had to solve for big prizes, including a top prize round trip for two to Sweden. Big hit there, and then they went into the treasure hunt part, which had people roaming all over the facility here. It has been a very big night here, and again, a resounding success, not only for the people who have been here to have a good time, but also for a very good cause, multiple sclerosis. And there could be no better way to bring in the 1990s than by helping out some folks who could really need it. So that's what the situation has been like here all evening long. As I said, they've all made it down to the dance floor, and that's where I'm gonna head in just a little while, too. Still hard to say, 1990s, but here we are. Frank and Judy, Happy New Year to you from the New Orleans Center. And Happy New Year, Tom. Happy New Year. Speaking of dancing, the dance king, Frank Davis. We're going to go to a commercial break and go we'll to be right back with more boogie. a celebration of savings at Macy's New Year's Sale. Savings for her, for him, and Macy Kids. Plus, great values throughout the store. Start your new year off right with 20 to 50% savings for you, your home, and family. Macy's New Year's Sale is going on now. Macy's, we're a part of your life. It's the U.S. Hot Rod Motorsports Doubleheader. The Ford Budweiser Truck Bowl Championships and the Camel Mud and Monster Truck Racing Championships exploding into the Superdome January 13th. Pull Hot Rod 4x4 side-by-side -side Monster Truck Racing plus a new breed of supercharged funny cars down in the mud bog. That's not all. See Florian, the jet dragster that transforms into a two-story tall flame-throwing robot. Tickets now. The Superdome box office and all the Ticketmaster outlets Saturday, January 13th in the Superdome. 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 The Value of an Education by Richard 
M. Blake. The key to success can only be obtained. Maybe there aren't enough words to describe the true value of an education, but if you're a graduating high school senior, we'd like you to try, because it could win you a $10,000 college scholarship. Ask your English teacher for details on how you can share the dream. A joint community project from your Coca-Cola bottler and Channel 4. Decade. You know, we said a little bit earlier that New Orleans was a frame of mind. So, from all of us at Channel 4, let us suggest to you that you go into 1990 with a good frame of mind. If you smile, if nobody can make you upset, no matter what it is. a celebration of savings at Macy's New Year's Sale. Savings for her, for him, and Macy Kids. Plus, great values throughout the store. Start your new year off right with 20 to 50% savings for you, your home, and family. Macy's New Year's Sale is going on now. Macy's, we're a part of your life. I feel I must acknowledge the most significant influence on my college career. I'm speaking, of course, of Alex. Who's Alex? <laughs> it Alex Trebek of Jeopardy? Who gave me the knowledge of a lifetime every weekday afternoon? Jeopardy! Weekdays at 4.30 on WWL-TV Channel 4. What is? Thank you very much. Hi, Mr. Johnson! Hi there, Mikey! Don't let traffic wreck your morning. Catch Traffic Watch on Channel 4. The last few hours of 89 will end with a blowout during Michael A. Bear's 48 hour end of the decade sale. This beautiful wall unit is made of acrylic lacquer in black or almond. A specially priced at $19.90 a month. Make the move comfortably into the 90s with this five piece sectional, two incliners, sleeper, offer $19.90 a month. Say goodbye to 89 and hello to low prices in the 90s during this 48 hour end of the decade blowout. At Michael A. Bear, where we save you money. Angela, weekdays at four. 